If you've been following me for a while, you'll know how much I love deep, deep light watercolour paints. I have used them for many of my tutorials here on YouTube, so you can only imagine my excitement when Deep Deep Light asked me if I'd like to create a selection of paints for my very own curated kit. Now after I finished my happy dance, I sat down and started looking through the colours that they have within their incredible website to put together what I consider to be the perfect set of watercolour paints for all your botanical paintings. These beautiful paints are handmade by two fantastic ladies in Latvia and are made in small batches, so they are very, very special. It took me a while to sit down and consider the best colours to use for this set, but finally, after much consideration and working out the best colours to have, here I have created what I consider to be the best botanical painting set. So let's just take a look at each of these colours in turn as I swatch them out individually so that you can see how I created Ray's Blooms palette. I was so excited to receive the final set packaged up here as you can see. The set is a set of 15 watercolour paints and it comes in this little tin with a sliding lid which makes transportation really really easy. Each paint is individually wrapped and once you remove the tissue paper that they are wrapped in you can set them out in whichever way you want to. So all that remains is to swatch out these colours one by one and let's talk about the beauty of each one as I swatch through. First up we have Reed Buff. Now this is an opaque sandy beige type tone, a beautiful neutral tone which is good alone or absolutely amazing for mixing because it's got that opacity. This beige tone reminds me of sunlit reeds kind of swaying gently in a summer breeze, just beautiful. Now next up we have the very special Partridge. I adore this colour which is a dark olive green type tone and it really packs a punch because it's granulating. Just like the feathers of its namesake bird, this captivating hue will bring a sense of depth and character to your artistic endeavours. I chose this colour because of its darkness and you can see when you add more water to each swatch the different depths of tone that you get with this stunning dark green tone which is really really muted. I'm adding water each time I want to dilute my colour so that I can see each colour from its darkest tone with a lot of pigment to its lightest tone there that you can see. Notice the difference between the lightest and the darkest tone and here you can see me just patting out some colour with some kitchen paper so that you can see that granulation there. Next up, introducing Prickly Pear. Now this colour is magical. As you apply the colour, watch in awe as it changes from green to brown, adorned with this sort of magical pink tone granulation that adds an ethereal touch to your work. I'm swatching each colour out with a lot of pigment, applying it to the pencil line of my little oval shapes here, and then I'm just diluting it down with water. Notice how you can see these pink tones underneath magically appear before your eyes. Just look at the contrast between the light and the dark there when you can see the difference between the strongest tone on the left hand side and the other colour on the right. Again you can see that pink tone coming through with that granulation. When I swatched this out I was just blown away by that different colour coming through and thought about the endless possibilities I could use it for. Next up we have Cherry Blossom. This is a really popular colour within Deep Deep Light set. It's a delicate, dreamy watercolour. It's a pastel tone reminiscent of Cherry Blossoms in Full Bloom with the addition of a kind of violety pink undertone. We have used this one in a lot of our tutorials. 
Next up, we have the really special Rose Ashes. This has a deep velvety hue with a subtle mystique about it. This dark pinky maroon colour, adorned with kind of hints of blue, reminds me of a dark velvety rose and it will definitely add a touch of drama to your painting. Notice how strong this dark mix is on this colour here. And again, as I swatch through, you'll notice how that colour changes from a really dark maroon type colour to a more transparent, subtle hue on the right hand side in a moment. This will be really great for your dark botanicals and just look how pale you can get that outside edge. I had some thoughts on how I would use these colours for sort of painting maybe mushrooms or dried fruit and vegetables and even this really dark dried rose here would be beautiful with that colour. The possibilities are absolutely endless but we've got quite a few to swatch out yet so let's press on. The next colour I picked was Ultramarine Rose which is a serene cool rose tone with a soft allure of the traditional rose which will definitely add a touch of sophistication to your palette. When I swatched this colour out it made me think of a traditional old English rose with its pink softness and delicacy. Again this would be a lovely colour to mix up some tones with and I did feel I wanted to add this kind of pinky purpley hue to my palette so that you can enjoy painting something with a really cool pink edge. I had to include a primary in this set for obvious reasons because we love to mix our own colours and you do need some primaries in there. So next up we have the wonderful Mayan. This mesmerising single pigment colour is great on its own or again for mixing up. I wanted to add a primary colour to the set due to their mixing ability so this single pigment red will add luminosity allowing your brush strokes to reveal the depth of this captivating red tone. It's not like any other red tone I've experienced before. It's transparent, so it really gives your botanical paintings this luminosity that can sometimes lack with red tones. So I consider this to be the perfect mixing red, as well as using it on its own to create this lovely luminosity within your paintings. Rose Hip is next. I tried this colour out from Deep Deep Light's Jam Kit and I fell in love with it because it's a lively orangey hue inspired by the invigorating tones found in the ripened rose hip of a flourishing garden. Now this one would be perfect for captivating the warm tones of say a sunflower or the glow of autumn leaves. It's a transparent orange tone but it's not a flat colour. It's so vibrant and so bold and so mesmerizing. I had to have it in my kit because the possibilities with this colour are endless. Again notice how you get the depth of colour from the strongest hue that you can see me swatching out compared to its lighter value. The next primary colour that I've chosen is Mirabella. This is a radiant burst of sunshine just captured in a vibrant yellow watercolour. This is a real powerhouse of yellow which is great for mixing your own green tones or on its own for lovely, beautiful, bright yellow florals. Again, I've chosen this colour because I really liked its luminosity. Deep Deep Light have quite a few yellow colours, but this one really stood out to me because it's so, so vibrant and bold. When you look at this next to the Rose Hip and Mayan, just think of the endless possibilities that you will have mixing these together to create a myriad of orangey red tones. Think of a sunflower for example or even daffodils and you can even mix the most gorgeous green tones up yourself if you really enjoy mixing your own colours. This is a great mixer but like I said on its own it's second to none. The colour payoff that you get with this yellow is off the scale. I absolutely adore it. I wanted to put a few greens in my kit so the other one that I have here is Forest Green reminiscent of deep pine and moss. This is a dark granulating colour and is testament to the rich tapestry of nature where shadows dance and foliage thrives in lush scenery. Can you imagine painting a really dark mysterious painting with this colour green. It's like no other green I've seen. It's just glorious. The pigment payoff is sublime and I absolutely love it. Take a look at the partridge and prickly pear that you see on my swatch card here and notice how that prickly pear has changed 
from the initial green tone to this gorgeous brown, almost coppery tone where you can see that pink tone underneath. It's really magical when you swatch it out and it was worth another mention at this point. So going back to forest green, again, you can see how dark this color is. You can also use this to maybe darken up some of your pre-bought greens. Sometimes when you're using green, it isn't quite dark enough and this would be a great addition to your kit because it does make mixing greens really, really easy. But of course, on its own, it's absolutely wonderful. And again, you can see from my swatches here how you can have that gorgeous dark green hue with a lot of pigment. Another green that I've added to my kit because I've used it a few times and fell in love with it is Solstice Fern. Now this sublime color encapsulates the beauty of a kind of mild olive hue, casting a gentle spell over your painting. This semi-opaque pigment brings a touch of understatement to your palette. This is my go-to green tone within my kit. It's something you would use all the time, so I really felt it needed to be in this kit. So if you don't really feel in the mood for mixing up your own green tones, this is my go-to color, and this is one I would recommend. Next up, we have Bramble Jam. I had to put this in. Again, this was from Deep Deep Light's jam kit where we had the rose hip and this one I fell in love with as soon as I tried it and it had to be in this set. It has a dark blue base. It exudes a sense of mystery and depth because when you apply this color you will see flecks of burgundy in the granulation and it's just incredible. You could use this on its own to paint things like blueberries maybe. The possibilities are endless but think you could mix this with prickly pear to create a really dark bark typed color. You could use it for so many different things and I'm going to be using these in upcoming tutorials. Notice how you can see that burgundy fleck in that mixture there. It's just stunning but when you mix these darker blue tones with any green or any brown color the possibilities are endless and it creates a symphony of visual delights. Absolutely adore this color. My final primary is Ultramarine French. I had to put this in for obvious reasons. This is a single pigment bright blue watercolor that reminds us of a Mediterranean sky. This blue is a celebration of simplicity and clarity and a great mixing color. Can you imagine mixing this Ultramarine with Mirabella? The possibilities of your green tones are endless when you are in the mood for mixing fantastic greens. I had to put it in the kit. It's a simple color, but so, so very versatile. A botanical watercolor kit wouldn't be complete without a violet color, so I've put ultramarine violet next. This is a truly mesmerizing violet color. It is a transparent and slightly granulating pigment and will add a touch of texture and luminosity to your paintings. How to have it in the kit, absolute must have for this kit. Again, a very transparent looking color there as you can see. And finally, I had to put green woodpecker in. It's another color that I use quite a lot. This is a vibrant tone that mirrors the vivid plumage of its avian namesake. This is a bright green, gently infused with a yellow undertone. Again, this is a really good go-to green if you're not in the mood for mixing your own. And you can see it next to that forest green there and together. These two used in, in unison would be a fantastic addition to your painting. Really, really lovely for most sort of green tones. Um, you can see that kind of yellow undertone that it has there. There we have everything swatched out. If you are in the market for these paints, do check out their website. You may want to take advantage of my 10% discount code, which is Deep Deep Ray, which will give you 10% off the price of these and indeed any of the paints that you see over on Deep Deep Light's website. 
you can see here that I've just taken so much care to pick up the colors that I consider to make the best botanical palette and you will have so much joy and pleasure from using these. I know you're going to love them. Thank you so much for watching this watching video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed showing you. Remember these paints are so, so special. Thank you once again for Deep Deep Light for allowing me to partner with you for this fantastic collaboration.